New York asked me to be one of the people to come to Newark and to do a hot, horny, healthy, safe for sex workshop. Patty Penn Davis was the person who called us. Patty was from the house of LaBelle and she called and asked for help because she was seeing so many of her family and friends dying. In 1992, Barbara Ford and I wrote a grant to the state of New Jersey Department of Health to do a project in Newark of hot, horny, healthy, wet, wild, well, safer sex messaging. And it wasn't hot, horny, healthy, wet, wild, well. It was just hot, horny, healthy because we were targeting men. But we expanded to wet, wild, well for women because that's who we were. We were working with women and we needed help. And we're going to be talking about all of this in a little while. But it became Project Fire. And why we named it Project Fire, we thought it was very important to do symbol that were crucial to our people and crucial to our survival as a people, and that is remembering our history. This is the first publication of homosexual love among black people in America. And it was this magazine called Fire by Bruce Nugent. He's the one who wrote the article. So we started Project Fire. This is a t-shirt from Project Fire. This is the Safer Sex Handbook that we did the work, we did the training for those who were involved. And when we came to do a workshop, we had a table like this, and we also had the red, black, and green liberation flag because we felt that people will be liberated when they learn that it's okay to handle safer sex toys, to learn how to be safe, and learn how to enjoy sex because sex is such a taboo subject in America but everywhere you go, everywhere you see, sex is all over the place. And we felt it was crucial that we teach people uh, that sex is good, sex is fun, but you have to do it safe and you have to be responsible in your sexual behavior. And these are the toys we use. There, we still have them. They have been in my closet for <laughs> several years now, yeah, right. yeah, just right. sitting there, and my husband didn't even know I had them until today. <laughs>